Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. And in this video, I'm going to give you my opinion uh, on uh, one tail flare uh, rear uh, foot pad for my one wheel GD. I picked it up that uh, foot pad a week ago or so. So far, I put uh, probably close to 100 miles. And uh, like in my previous video uh, when I did installation, I did mention it. I'd like to put some mileage uh, before I give you my opinion. And to be honest, uh, when I install it, the way it was come from factory, uh, probably max I put 20 miles or so from few trips, well, more than few trips. My foot was hurt a lot. Uh, on, on a stuck shape, it was, hurt, it, it was hurting my foot worse than original uh, GT foot pad. Why, why is that? Uh, I mean, even it's wider, but the concave itself, not, now it's modified, but the concave itself it's twice deeper than stock configuration. If you look at GT, if you put a ruler over here, it's a quarter inch de deep uh, concave. On the original, uh, this foot pad, it was a half inch deep. That means when, when you place your foot, the foot will bend twice as much. I mean, it's gonna get deeper twice as much as the original one. And not only that, because a half inch side sticks out, that means you're riding a, ha a half inch higher than on a flat configuration. I really like my XR. I really like the way it feels, a rear foot pad. Uh, pretty much uh, with a belt sander, I sand it down. I left a little bit, a little bit concave, like a millimeter and a half or so, pretty much 116, which uh, with sandpaper, when I apply it, it almost doesn't feel, I mean, you can feel it maybe slightly. There's a concave, but it's, it's awesome. And now, because like I said, I sanded down those uh, borders. Now my, uh, I'm riding almost half an inch lower than what that uh, foot pad provided from beginning. So far, like I said, I put a, a little over 100 mile. I really love it. I, I, it. It works for me really, really good. I'm not saying don't buy it concave foot pad. It's, it's, it's bad. No, uh, foot pad, concave foot pad. It, it will not work for 100% all 100% all riders. There's some percentage of riders will really love it, concave foot pads, like a front and back, or this guy, wider and, and deeper. Some people will hate it. My case, like I said, I mean, my foot and concave foot pad doesn't, doesn't go together. That's why I modify it. And now it's really awesome. If you look at like this way, my rear foot pad, a wider, than front or wider the stack one almost an inch wider a uh, half inch longer that uh, really nice uh, kickback I, I still have now it feels much much better eventually probably it's going to change it half to 6.0 to get that xr nice cushy uh, nice uh, comfortable ride and i probably will be happy with my gt uh, probably next video is going to make a uh, comparison uh, gt and xr because I like XR a lot. I mean, GT, it's not quite there. I, do, I have to do another few modification. Maybe I was gonna put it a different hub, different rails, and that's probably gonna cost me 1,000 to 1,200 bucks or so to get that machine close to XR uh, experience. Well, guys, pretty much that's all I got for this video. I hope it was interesting, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.